Hey everyone, I'm Pastor Katie from St. Peter's Lutheran Church in Verona, New York. Um, I'm, this is another one of the stories in the, our series for virtual VBS in the summer of 2020. Um, we don't have a, a very formal VBS program, but we are, you know, sharing some stories with our young people, with our kids, and um, sending out activity packets that, ha that connect to each of the stories. So uh, if you haven't already have gotten an activity packet, I encourage you to reach out to St. Peter's. We'll be happy to send you one. And um, this is uh, the story that I'm gonna share with you in this video is actually a story that I did not know very well. And it's the story of Paul and King Agrippa. First of all, how cool a name is Agrippa, right? It sounds like he grips you. It sounds like a superhero or something, or that's his secret power. <laughs> but anyway, Paul and King Agrippa. And it's a little tricky because this story is not, these are my two of my favorite story Bibles. And they're both really thick. Like they both have a lot of stories in them. So usually if there's, if I have to look up a story in the Bible and figure out how to make it a little bit more, a little bit, a little bit easier for kids to understand, well, not just kids, but grownups too. These are the two Bibles that I, the two story Bibles that I've looked at. Neither one of them has Paul and King Agrippa. So I'm just going to try and tell you this story in my own words. Hopefully it's not going to be too rambling. So if it is, I'm sorry. So Paul had been um, captured and put in prison by the Roman governor Festus. And in prison, he was accused of blasphemy by the Jews. Now, what is blasphemy is basically um, saying untrue things about God. And we're at a time when Paul and the early Christians, the early church, did not agree with the Jews of that time. And so they were often fighting. And so he's in, he's in prison and uh, the governor, the Roman governor Festus, is talking to the king. And he, King Agrippa was not king of all of Rome. He was just king of this little part of the Roman Empire. And basically, um, you know, Paul knew that he was accused of this. And he was like, look, if I'm being accused of this, I, you know, I would like to be heard by the emperor. You know, I'm going to appeal my case to the whole emperor of Rome. And the governor was like, well, okay, you know, we can do that if you want. But in the meantime, I have this, king, this other king is here visiting, King Agrippa. Would you, you know, he would like to hear your case too. King Agrippa said, I would like to hear Paul speak for himself. So they bring Paul out and Paul tells his whole life story to Agrippa and Paul explains about how he used to persecute Christians. He used to try and hunt them down and kill them. And he's had this encounter with Jesus that has caused him to literally see the light and to, instead of trying to hurt Christians, um, he's trying to help them. He's teaching them. He's going around, traveling all around and planting new churches and, and writing to them all. He writes letter after letter after letter. And so he tells his life story to Agrippa and he makes, he explains about how, you know, this, what this early church believes, what we, you know, what they call it the way, then they're like, and he's like, let me explain to you about the way. And he explains about Jesus and about how he was put to death on a cross and buried and then rose, rose from the dead and was resurrected. And that is why we have life and hope and salvation. And King Agrippa is kind of impressed, really. And he says, man, too bad this guy appealed to the emperor because I would set him free. So King Agrippa didn't know anything about God or Jesus or anything to start out with. But Paul was able to explain it to him. And, and Paul did it in a way where he just shared about his life. He just said, look, this is what happened to me. And this is why I believe this. And King Agrippa was convinced, you know, he, he got it. Something happened and he got it. So that's what the story is all about. It's, it's about, you know, Paul, I bet Paul was very, was very um, nervous. If you think about how Paul might've felt, 
right? I don't know if any of you have ever had to make a speech in front of a, your class or something, or you've ever had to, to uh, say something about what you believe or some share about something very personal to you, but it can be kind of scary, right? To get up and talk about something is a little scary. So I think you can think about how Paul might have felt and think, you know, Paul was able to overcome that and talk about his faith. And that's what we're asked to do too in our everyday lives To We're asked to have courage and that if somebody asks us, why do you believe what you believe that we can have the courage, be brave enough to tell them. So that is the story for today. That's that, that particular story that's in virtual VBS. Uh, you in your activity packet, you have a little booklet that's got, different games and different activities and different, you know, I don't, not word searches, but like connect the dots and little games and stuff like that. So you can find that little booklet and play some of those games and check it out, have some fun. And I, oh, there's some decoding stuff in there. So you might learn a little bit more about the story from the decoding. So anyway, have fun with it all and check out our other videos and we'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.